Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. And today I've got uh, a first impressions on uh, Ruike knives. Now, uh, a number of you were asking me about these. So uh, when Ruike was willing to send me a couple for review, I was quite happy to hear about that and uh, jumped at the opportunity to check these out and tell you about them. Because as I say, I have had quite a few messages uh, asking what I think of them. And I, of course, I really didn't know. Anyway, uh, this is just the, the a typical box. It, they are very well done. Uh, they're a little hard to open, but um, you can see the presentation is quite nice. I don't have a knife in this box, so don't, uh, don't think you're gonna see a knife yet, but uh, this is the knife that came in here. Let's see, how does it fit? Uh, just like that. Uh, so, the presentation is very good. Reminds me a little bit of Boker and Real Steel, both of whom do some really nice boxes. The models that I've got to show you today are this one. This is a stainless steel frame lock, uh, model number P108. Uh, blade steel on this is 14C28N. It is stainless steel with a stonewash finish. Uh, it is fairly heavily milled out to save some weight. Um, backspacer here, I want to say, is aluminum, and I would, let me point out that in all the the retailer pictures that I've seen, the backspacer here matches that blue on the pocket clip. In this one, it doesn't. It's black, so I'm not sure. I'm waiting for a response via email uh, to see whether that's um, something that they do all the time or whether it's just in this particular one and so you can expect a blue one. Uh, I don't know what to tell you but when I find out uh, by the time I do the full review on this knife I will definitely be able to follow up with that and, and give you some further insights. Okay these are pretty budget-friendly knives by the way nothing uh, that's gonna break the bank here. Um, I think some of these uh, the ones that I'm I'm showing you now here are posted on Warriors and Wonders for uh, around fifty dollars. So uh, satin blade and this blade is kind of interesting. Notice how it, it looks like it's an upswept tip, upswept tip but it really isn't. If you put a flat edge right on this this is actually totally straight so it's just a, a fairly typical standard blade shape uh, but it just kind of looks kind of interesting. A uh, fairly small knife would work well as sort of a, an EDC or a gentleman's knife and the action on this is quite good. It's not as good as some of the real steels that I've really raved about recently but uh, it's definitely not bad uh, in terms of carry and performance. Nothing stands out as a big issue here, but of course this is just a first impression. So um, size, weight pretty are, are fairly comfortable, and of course quality is the thing that really you can kind of get an impression on right away, and there's certainly no blade play up and down or side to side. Uh, all comfortable, there's no like, you know, grossly missed areas where something should have been milled that wasn't or sanded or, or sharp edges or anything like that. So uh, overall the quality on these is is quite good and I don't think, you know, if this is a design you're really really drawn to, uh, I don't think you're going to be too disappointed with the performance on it. I've got a couple others to share with you. Uh, the next up is the uh, P105 and this one is probably something we're maybe a little more familiar with as, as knife people, G10 handle scale, liner lock, uh, G10 backspacer, which is quite a big backspacer. Would have liked to see that with a more open construction, but uh, blade shape is quite useful uh, and a little bit different. It, it kind of puts you in mind of, of some Spyderco leaf shape blades, but this one uh, is almost more of a spear point than they usually are. Um, Certainly comfortable in hand, and again, this one is milled out to save weight, uh, and again, it's 14C28 and blade steel. That's going to be common for all of these. Uh, edge geometry on this and the last knife I showed you are quite good. I've done just a little bit of light cutting with them, and they're quite sharp and do slice pretty effectively. Uh, so those are the, the first two. These are both on bearings. I can't tell you whether they're roller bearings or ball bearings, but I will by the time we get to the full review. Lastly, and perhaps my favorite of these knives, is the F815B. This is, of course, sort of an EDC fixed blade, comes in this sheath, and I'll talk about the sheath in a second. Uh, the knife itself, the blade is uh, fairly thick, okay, so it's a little thick behind the edge, making it pretty tough, but it does slice. Now, um, I haven't done, again, a lot of cutting, but 
um, this does, you know, if you're cutting something heavy like, you know, double layer cardboard or something, you can notice the difference in the blade thickness here compared to the other two knives. In terms of comfort in hand though, it's very, very good. This nice skeletonized handle does make it pretty lightweight. Uh, and I think this is one of the better EDC fixed blades that I have tried. And now, of course I'll have more to say in the full review, but uh, as it stands right now, I'm really, really impressed with the uh, F1 or the F815 from Ruik Knives. Let me show you the sheath here before we get through with this. This sheath retains really well uh, and you know in terms of all that stuff it's just a, a good sheath but what really stands out is the the clip attachment here. This is something I really really like. I'm always complaining about clips. Uh, this gives you a lot of options. There's just a little tab here. If you push down on the tab, you can adjust this and it clips and snaps into place in a bunch of different positions so that if you want to carry, you know, right side handle up, you can. If you want to carry left side sort of kidney carry, that's what I've been doing with this. Uh, the only thing you can't do in this configuration is carry the knife uh, at the small of your back. So imagine this is my back, my right hand's over here. If I want to carry the knife here, I actually have to take this off and move it to the other side, which is not a big deal. Uh, but um, so, and, and certainly possible. But the, the other parts of this where I can change this angle to whatever I want, I've got to say that I really, really like that. Uh, and the way this clip functions, I've clipped it onto belts and pants and a few other things, and it does work really, really well uh, on that point. So, uh, and again, uh, I've complained about this lots of times, so if you've watched this channel a bit, you're probably familiar with the fact that I don't like the clips that are closed, and this is not. So I can clip this onto my belt, carry it around for a while, and clip it again off my belt without having to, to take the belt off and, and pull it off the belt, or slide it off the belt. Uh, so yeah, overall, let's grab the other knives and get them back in here. One more. Um, in terms of quality, in terms of performance, uh, at this price point, and even at, a, at a, a higher price point, I think these are really, really well done uh, budget blades. The steel is a great choice. Now, obviously, I can't speak that much to heat treat and edge retention because I just haven't had that that much time with them. But 14C28N is one of my favorite steels because it tends to hold up really, really well. Um, in terms of quality, you know, do they flip well? Is there any blade play, any gross, uh, you know, missed points in terms of fit and finish or construction? Absolutely not. Everything is really, really good. So uh, obviously we'll get into more details when we do a full review of each of these, but on first impressions, I've got to say very, very impressed with this company. Uh, and I, I will definitely be looking into picking up a couple of more things from them, or especially, you know, the, the designs they have out now, these were probably the most appealing to me, uh, but I'll look forward to what they're, they're going to be doing. You know, that's one thing that's nice about a company when you, um, when you're able to get a, just a general impression that, hey, these guys do a good job, then, it, then you can, with confidence, pick up something else down the road that you like. So anyway, uh, Ruik Knives, Thanks a lot for sending these out. I'm sure viewers will appreciate being able to get a little bit of knowledge about these before they purchase. And now if you're thinking about picking one up, I, I wouldn't really hesitate. Of course, I will do a full review on each of those. So you may want to wait around for that uh, until you pull the trigger. Hope you enjoyed the video and we will talk to you soon. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I do have a bad habit of forgetting that. Now we'll talk to you soon.